Oof. <risa> I'm highly awake right now. Incredible. Por favor, chicos. Bueno, pero les tengo que decir, en Colombia, um, Molde realmente dominó el juego y en at atajando penaltis realmente son increíbles. Eh, todos, o sea, todos los jugadores de Molde pueden estar, creo que, creo que un minuto 45, o sea, ahí debajo, atajando penaltis son increíbles y han demostrado que... Eh, siguen siendo el mejor equipo. O sea, Orcas ha puesto un partidazo y ha, ha jugado increíblemente, pero eh, realmente Molde fue mejor y eso es el resultado del, del partido. Y entonces, bueno, eh, hay que seguir, hay que seguir entrenando, seguir eh, peleando y a ver si en el futuro. Congratulations to the Orca players too, with uh, some of the uh, <coughs> U21 players. Um, They had already played in uh, Sandefjord, so these uh, boys are playing uh, high level on the water rugby for almost three weeks now. I don't count the games against uh, my home uh, local team uh, into the high level, but uh, nevertheless they did play a lot. This was incredible and uh, I will uh, enjoy to watch this. Uh, in the replay again uh, and we will put it on YouTube. So this is... Um, Um, the game now Bamberg against Flipper, uh, the signs on top of the, the game are wrong again. This is not Mold against Orcas, this is Bamberg against Flipper and we have still 427 uh, people watching this game in the live chat, in the live stream. Um, this was an incredible game and uh, we all have to recover now um, to... We have to recover. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> We all who watch this game, it was just like uh, um, um, the, the, the holy grail of underwater rugby uh, being put there uh, right in front of us. So this is Bamberg against Flipper. Flipper in white, Bamberg in blue. And the winner of this uh, match will see uh, Molde in the finals. Um, and... Uh, I, I think uh, it's the, uh, the dream of both teams and uh, I, I don't, uh, don't know uh, if, if uh, what uh, team will be, uh, um, uh, will be the, the dominant one. Uh, hey Stefan, uh, you're welcome. We love to do the comments for people like you. Uh, thanks for your appreciation uh, and hello to the U.S. Uh, you're welcome, everybody here in the live stream. Thanks for watching it. And uh, um, yeah, we love to do what we do. That's why we do it. Uh, everybody, I think, who plays and uh, is connected to on the water bar beat does the same. So let's stay into the game. We have uh, uh, uh Forward checking, tackling situation in front of the Bamberg basket. Bam Bamberg is uh, owning the uh, is owning the 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 the, uh, the basket, uh, the ball. But uh, uh, um, now Bamberg is going in the counter attack and uh, putting pressure on the the flipper defense. But flipper uh, manages to uh, get the ball free and try to break through in the counter attack. But uh, as we know, the forward checking of Bamberg is uh, quite good and Flipper has to fight for every inch here uh, to come even close to the Bamberg basket, uh, which is now only protected by one goalkeeper. And now the defense is coming down. Uh, seven minutes left in this first half and uh, It's not, it, it doesn't show any decisive movements. Now we have an attack uh, from Flipper on the basket of the Bamberg uh, uh, team. And uh, Bamberg is not able to steal away the ball from uh, Flipper, uh, which means something because, uh, like we told you already, um, this is... Uh, this is their speciality to the forward checking and uh, we have even now a flipper player on the open side of the basket close to the goalkeeper and uh, very nice playing over the the deep the the forward checking of uh, uh, flipper and now Bamberg is in ball possession going for uh, the basket 
of a flipper, but heavily interrupted by the forechecking of uh, the flipper players. And uh, only one uh, Bamberg player now down uh, at the basket of flipper. Maybe the other teammates uh, just changed. Uh, um, so push on the flipper basket here from the close side and flipper uh, uh, managed to uh, get hold of the ball ball was free uh, and uh, two, almost two flipper players fighting for the ball and the uh, bumper player was pushed aside so this is not an easy game for uh, bumberg and uh, they it looks like they have to adapt uh, to the to the ball game of uh, flipper and uh, i'm under the impression they don't know exactly how to react uh, to this uh, game of the flipper team we don't see this uh, fast ball movement we were used from bamberg and now flipper is attacking from uh, above the basket um, and uh, probably the teammate on the close side uh, bamberg is in ball position but tackled away now they are breaking free on the wall side and now on the open side in the middle of the pool only one player going in is all alone it takes a little bit too long for his teammates to go in. There was a crib on the mask, but it was uh, accidentally. And now there's one player quite close to the basket, but uh, Flipper is really good to steal away um, the ball in this close quarter dogfight around the basket. And uh, this is now Flipper breaking through the middle of uh, the pool. And uh, uh, you can see Bamberg is a little bit uh, 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 not sure how to react uh, to this constant attacking from Flipper and there's constant pressure on the game of uh, uh, Bamberg. Um, I, I, th I think they, they try to find uh, the loophole um, to, to turn the game around. Um, in, in th at this moment of the, the game I'd say uh, uh, Flipper is in a little bit of an advantage. Um, uh, and uh, but uh, I'm quite sure Bamba can turn away, uh, turn around uh, the game. There's a question: uh, Who Flipper is? Flipper is Denmark uh, playing for Denmark. Bamberg is Germany. Um, now we are the Flipper basket call from the referees. Free throw against Bamberg, probably pushing without ball. Um, right now the, the game looks to be in favor of uh, Flipper. Um, Orange Roy is asking what Flipper uh, um, is. Uh, it's an underwater rugby team uh, from Denmark. I don't know what the meaning of Flipper is. Probably it's the... the That's the name of a dolphin. Thank you. Yeah, Flipper. We all saw that in our youth. Okay. Um, um, three minutes left uh, in this game, uh, Bamber against Flipper, it's 0-0 zero, zero, and uh, both teams uh, cannot make a decisive move uh, um, to, to force a decision and uh, to, open up the, uh, to open up a gap. Uh, to open up a gap uh, and to uh, force uh, the other team uh, to, to make a mistake. So it's... Uh, so it's, 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 it's funny, it's, uh, it's a little bit of uh, anticlimax here uh, compared uh, to the game before. Even though I know this is a high-level game, both teams are uh, really focused and playing really good and fast underwater rugby, but um, compared to the game we've seen before, this uh, even looks a little bit slow. Now Flipper is pushing hard uh, on the basket uh, of uh, uh, Bamberg, and we have a cluster now on the, right above the uh, Bamberg uh, basket, call from the chief referee on the surface. And a free throw uh, from uh, Flipper against Bamberg and the Flipper players already positioned at the basket. The ball, ball was free now. Um, 
but still in the flipper, still in ball control. And uh, um, Bumbert looks a little bit, to me, it looks a little bit uh, overwhelmed by the, by the concentrated game of uh, flipper. But now Bamberg is in the um, Bamberg now is in the uh, area of uh, the flipper uh, basket coming from the close side at the wall, uh, but uh, flipper is heavily defending, tackling away um, the Bamberg players. We have a call from a referee. Tough playing against uh, flipper, so free throw against Bamberg. That's a good chance for Bamberg to. Uh, their attack patterns um, and go into the defense of Flipper. Um, this is a tough game. Um, I don't want to play uh, right now on both sides because you see the pressure both teams are under and uh, there's a problem there with the free throw complaining of the uh, players. The referees are uh, uh, pushing both teams uh, apart to their side. Only the team captains are allowed. Oh no, they just want to, to have the free throw um, without interference from Flipper. And here it is, free throw for Bamberg, 24 seconds left. The clock is not counting right now. Again, a uh, call from the referees, holding without ball against, uh, uh, again, a free throw of uh, uh, Flipper, uh, of Bamberg against Flipper. 18 seconds left, 7 uh, seconds left. This is the last chance in the first half uh, of Bamberg to, uh, to score. Tackled away, 9 seconds, 8, 7, 6, um, 3, 2, 1. That's it in the first half. Uh, this is hard work. Uh, this whole game is really hard work for both teams. You can see it. Um, it's not uh, they are uh, uh, exhausted, but the the game itself in the, is an exhausting game. And uh, there's a lot of pressure on both teams because the winner of this team will be in the finals with Molde. And... Uh, uh, Flipper, in my opinion, did uh, dominate this game uh, um, most of the time. Uh, Bummer didn't have a lot of chance um, to attack uh, the Flipper basket. I'm, I'm wondering a little bit uh, that in the Bangbok game, they are strong in the, in the middle position and control the game. And uh, the, the attacks was uh, too easy to uh, defend. Uh, I think they should concentrating on the rotation, uh, controlling the ball around the flipper basket. Uh, that is um, uh, more important. Uh, uh, let's see how they do the second half. I think they they, they will start to adjust uh, to doing that. Uh, so. Yeah. Well, Bamberg. I think especially Bamberg has to change uh, their their system, how they uh, handle the flipper uh, uh, team, because uh, they they cannot force it. In this in this first half, they didn't. They weren't able to force a decision in this game. They weren't able to open up a gap, to uh, force Flipper to make a mistake, uh, and uh, we we didn't see a chance for Bamberg to go uh, around the flipper basket. To, to break the defense and open up a space uh, and, and give them room to have their fast ball passing game around uh, the basket. So they should probably try to go more in the offense, which is uh, easy for me to say. I totally uh, um, understand. Um, but um, they need a decision and both teams, I think both teams don't want to go in uh, in penalty shooting uh, here in the end they want the decision in the game and uh, if they play the way they played just uh, uh, the first half it will be difficult for them to get a decision so an alle zuschauer hier uh, wahrscheinlich hauptsächlich in bamberg uh, willkommen in unserem uh, livestream 
ähm, hier im Champions Cup äh, 2016 in Berlin. Äh, 427 äh, Leute gucken gerade zu. Und äh, wir sind gleich in der zweiten Hälfte hier. Flipper gegen Bamberg. Es steht noch 0 zu 0. Und äh, ich bin gespannt, äh, was äh, Bamberg am äh, Spielsystem ändern wird, ob sie mit mehr Offensiv herangehen. So, here we are back in the game. Um, Flipper against Bamberg. Flipper is in ball possession in the start. And they try to uh, overswim Bamberg, but they don't succeed. They are stopped. Call from uh, the referee. Call from the referee. Stop of the game. The referee on the open side just uh, dived up. There seems to be a, a lot of uh, uh, emotion now. And there's a problem with the, with the signal um, of the open side referee. The, the, how you call this device? The Tuster, we call it in, the, in German. Uh, thing uh, the the, um, the bottom. no the referee is, tr uh, is giving the the signals with seemed uh, not to work right here. Um, let's see if they can change it. So the game is stopped uh, because the um, the referee uh, tool is not working right. Uh, the the signal device uh, of the referee didn't work, so uh, the game is stopped. And we are in the uh, the second half of this game. Uh, uh, Bamberg against Flipper. And uh, it's, it's really difficult if uh, the game is stopped in the beginning. You put all the concentration in this moment to stay focused. Um, even though the game is stopped, it's quite hard and uh, difficult right now. Um, a flipper player tries to steal uh, the basket of uh, the Bamberg player. The referees are not uh, watching the action at the basket right now and now we go for the free throw of uh, flipper and uh, um, this is uh, again a call from the referee um, free throw against uh, flipper now yeah, I, m I miss the first half. I was talking to some of the players <coughs> in the lobby. And there, everyone so much enjoying. You, well, you you didn't miss much. Uh, there was a, um, a slightly dominated by Flipper uh, in the first half, but Mark didn't seem to have a, uh, a means to stop the, the attacks of uh, uh, the Flipper team. Um, and right now, <coughs> we see Bamberg attacking. <coughs> Sorry. Just uh, yeah, our, our our voices are breaking. Yeah, <laughs> slowly yeah. but surely. Just we just have go have to go to the party uh, uh, on Sunday. Pardon me. No, we do the uh, uh, ceremony. Lorena and me, we will talk a lot. Eh, Castoras will play right after this game. Están preguntando a qué hora juega Castoras eh, después de este partido. So we see a uh, 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 heavy attack uh, of Bamberg from the open side now on the flipper basket, uh, but no real uh, uh, decisive move. Now is an attack from the close side, uh, the head of the flipper goalie, and now from the close side again, but the pass was not received by the player waiting there. It just uh, dropped away from him, and he's now in a, a, a cluster fight. Uh, at the surface on the open side of the pool uh, next to the basket. And now there's a Bamberg player coming from above. He tried to push in the ball but didn't succeed. And uh, now the ball is on the closed side uh, in the cluster on the surface. Uh, the team's fighting. Half uh, of the Champions 
Cup 2016 here in Berlin. And this is uh, Flipper from Denmark against Bamberg uh, from Germany. Bamberg in uh, blue, Flipper in white. And it's the second half and with still 0-0 zero, zero call from the referees. Um, this, this game is heavily interrupted. Um, the flow of the game is heavily interrupted by the referees with a free throw against uh, Flipper. Timeout uh, from Flipper here. I it's guess. Quite, I mean, after seeing the, the there, game. There's a lot of complaining from the, the Flipper players. Why? I, I don't know. I just saw them uh, screaming at the referee if I saw it right. Something is wrong. Is there a two minute penalty? Uh, there seems to be a two minute penalty for a Flipper player. He's sitting on the bench. So this would be uh, the chance for Bamberg. Um, yeah, <coughs> after watching the game between Orcas and Molde, this game is quite slower in the speed. And um <coughs> I mean, I, I know I missed the first half, so it's, it's uh, but just for the last minutes I just uh, saw. And um, let's see now. I mean, if if Flipper actually has five players uh, and water then this should be if, if Bamber was dominated a little bit more then this is uh, the chance for Bamber two flipper players are out, players are out. okay mm, we should maybe ask and see why two flipper that means they have four players in the water and now I can understand how upset they are they need to defend for I don't know if it's two or three minutes and if Bamber don't score now, then, I mean, it's just six minutes left and they need to play this card cl clever. They need to play the ball around uh, and speed up so that the players get uh, exhausted if they're playing with four, just, I mean, to defend those two goalies. And th th they're taking too much time. I mean, it's too, too slow, I mean, um, in a way and and the two minutes you know go by quite fast i mean if you don't take advantage of the situation the moment no okay great okay uh score from bamber we couldn't see it from this side so it was a slowly but surely attack and um one zero that means one of the players of flipper will uh get into the game or is both let's see i don't know because i don't know which how you know difference between why both of them Mm, it's strange. I don't know. I need to ask. Normally, one of the two shall come in and then they still have with five. I don't understand why both uh, return to the game. So uh, now uh, it's five minutes and a half left and uh, Flipper will try to recover from that. But if Amber have been uh, dominating the game and then they can, you know, keep the concentration, uh, then uh, they just have to defend, keep the score, don't risk the ball, play safe, be in possession of the ball as much as they, as they can, and then they will be in the final against Molde. I can't think of when was the last time that uh, Bamberg Molde was the final, because since Orcas started coming seven years ago, I almost remember every time that um, Bamberg would lose against Orcas and Orcas would be on the final with Molde or at least the last four or five years. So this would be uh, finally a chance for Bamberg to uh, win the, the Champions Cup. Uh, but uh, still we have uh, five minutes to go. They have a timeout. They're trying to get uh, organized and, and play clever. And well, I'm, I'm happy for, for Bamberg. I mean, they have been coming to the Champions Cup so many years and uh, always, you know, missed the final the last couple of years. And right now, uh, would be, you know, a new opportunity for them. So, let's see. Time out is almost over. Five more seconds. So, ah, of course, one player is still in the um, penalty. Um, so they are with five players. 
that means that you really uh, don't risk and um, because otherwise if Van Berg could have you know the opportunity maybe to score a, a second time so now the taking the time to continue the game five minutes to go the referees are talking to the um, Spielleiter <laughs> To the Spielleiter, to the I don't I hmm. can't say it in, in English. Chief referee. Chief referee, thank you. And uh, we are waiting for the game to continue. The main uh, aim here is to be to keep a cool head, to keep uh, their game to concentrate to play safe to be in possession of the ball and if they can achieve that Then they will win this game And I will really happy for Bamba because also they have been fighting along all those years to uh, achieve better places uh, within the Champions Cup Here we are <coughs> last five minutes uh, of the second half and um Bamberg is 1-0 uh, in the lead and this is uh, this is really not a game you want to be referee in. Um, luckily all these uh, referees in this game are uh, very experienced uh, and For for a chief referee, international chief referee, this is the situation they trained for. So uh, um, we can be sure the decisions are, are uh, made from the best referees we have worldwide. So uh, four minutes, uh, uh, almost a li little bit more than four minutes left. Again, a call. The referees really uh, break up uh, the the play. I think it's probably another two minutes for uh, tough playing. I don't know, I, we don't uh, see all the decisions of uh, the referees on the surface. It's free throw against Bamberg. And there's uh, one Bamberg player still on the penalty bench and a second one standing there. Two Bamberg players. No, that's the one I think. Yeah. Oh, this is really a uh, broken up, uh, broken up game. Yeah, we have two Bamberg players um, on the penalty bench, and Bamberg is uh, leading this game 1-0. <coughs> the clock is at 3:37, uh, but the fell time uh, compared to the game we had before, the time was. Uh, uh, running like uh, crazy um, in this game you you got the feeling the time is standing still uh, they played uh, for for uh, 16 minutes but uh, we also waited for 16 minutes uh, with all the referees decisions right here so it's free throw against Bamberg and Bamberg has uh, two players two players on the penalty bench so this will be heavy for Bamberg to fight off uh, the the attempt from a full team uh, of flipper players and uh, flipper is taking their time they know they uh, Bamberg has only uh, four players in the water and uh, here we come from the open side flipper player tries to push away the Bamberg player but it yes there is the goal Wow, Th this is uh, another kind of thriller, uh, of a uh, game thriller. A little bit slower, a little bit uh, not that uh, fascinating, but still a thriller. And with two minutes 32 left, uh, Bamberg uh, should have only one player on the penalty bench now. Uh, so they will uh, finish this game almost uh, 
with five players. Um, And now uh, we see Bamberg attacking. They are coming in from the open side, but on the surface, I guess the ball will be out of the uh, play area soon. So one minute 40 left, uh, and I guess uh, we will see penalties here too. Uh, because both teams will uh, stop, um, will will try to stop the attacks of the uh, opponent team uh, by uh, uh, heavy defending uh, without risk. So this is Bamberg attacking. I would like to know what was the reason for because Flipper also had two. Uh, well, expelled, so I, I just I just saw the one uh, 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 player who was uh, the flipper player was holding his feet and he was still kicking with his feet. That's what I saw. I don't know if this was the decision for one of them to get on the penalty bench for two minutes. Um, now the the referees really stop the game at once. They make sure um, both teams accept uh, the rules and don't play too hard. Um, so uh, Bamberg is trying uh, now to, to reach a decision, another call from the referees, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. free throw against Bamberg and uh, this is not going to... So we can be sure this will be uh, uh, penalty shooting again, <coughs> Four, two, three, two, one. Zero game over, penalty shooting in the game uh, of Bamberg against Flipper. Winner of this game will see um, Norway, uh, the team of Molde, in the finals. So uh, it's a high stake for uh, both teams. Yes, uh, I agree with uh, Morton here in the, in the live chat. Minimum swimming, maximum street fighting. It's like a close quarter fighting, uh, like MMA here. Um, there is a lot of uh, tension and uh, uh, a lot of uh, emotions in the water. And both teams are tired and there's a... Mm, I won't call it aggressiveness, but uh, uh, the will to go through the other players and to score. Um, so let's see what the penalties will bring. Um, Bamberg is really strong in penalties, uh, both uh, for goalkeeping and uh, for uh, penalty throwing. Um, football players look exhausted. Uh, they are just concentrating. We did hear the horn a lot here in this game. And uh, I don't check the, the original time and the playing time, but uh, I guess we are uh, uh, at least 20 minutes over the regular time. And our time schedule should be um, uh, really wrecked now. Um, here we yes. see. Yes. Well, the next game was supposed to start at 9.30 and we have 9.48. 45, 48, yeah. Penalty shooting now for 50 minutes at least. So... Uh, no, I don't think that long, you think? Yeah. And uh, when we, until we start, yeah, we uh, changed okay, right, 50 yeah. minutes at least so we'll to the next game. So we'll be half an hour game. behind. Yes, half an hour is still fair. Uh, if you uh, uh, see, we have 30 games uh, today. So uh, it's yeah, still it's, it's a good acceptable. Uh, Are you bored, Jörg? No, never. It's just, <laughs> it has been, I think that, you know, there's so much uh, with just stopping the game has been. Uh, yes, it yes. Really you it kill, it killed the game because yeah. there was no really flow, at least the part I saw. Yep. I, I, I missed the first uh, half. So, so I first I penalty, uh, penalty throwing, uh, the attacker is Bamberg, 
and uh, flipper uh, goalie is well this was fast he was uh, coming over the head over the basket uh, and uh, turning around and pushing the ball right behind the back in the basket of the flipper defender of the goalie that was fast that was decisive and uh, this is flipper now Um, this is Flipper now um, doing uh, the, the attack. Let's see uh, who is on the basket. Uh, maybe uh, uh, could be Lucas. No. No, he's not a goalkeeper. No. Okay. I believe so Lucas Tada was the one that just uh, scored. That is, uh, uh if some people watching from Bamberg, uh, I think it was Lucas the one that scored just now, right? And uh, I think I'm trying to see the the number on the on the. Wh the where are all these with the shoulder deep in the basket? Yeah, he he's. I mean. Mm. Uh, but well well done uh, 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 defending. Ah, that was uh, very well done from the bummer player, and he uh, made it. He uh, saved the goal and uh, secured uh, the ball to the surface. Very well done. Yeah, congratulations, Bamberg. Okay, there is a complaint from the attacker, from the uh, flipper attacker. He's complaining heavily uh, about uh, the Bamberg uh, goalie. <laughs> this is not uh, um, um, uh, considered uh, the tension and uh, the penalties in this game. It's not a nice game. We don't know what happened. It doesn't look like a... Uh, okay. Uh, can we have a... Is it a repeat? So uh, again, Bamberg player succeeds in bringing the, the ball to the surface safely. So this should be it. Yes, I mean, um, the, the it goalkeeper was a repeat. Uh, don't know exactly why. Well, I think because of the shoulder. I mean, we all saw that. But they, they should have stopped it at once. I know. I don't. Sadly, there's no communication between the referee table and us, so, you know, these kind of things. Uh, yeah, one thing we have to improve. Uh, yeah. One more thing we have to improve. Um, So, uh, congratulations to uh, Bamberg. Um, we will see them in the finals tomorrow against Molde. And